Hey what's going on guys, Jason here from Poor Man's Preparing. In this video I want to show you how to make a monkey fist key fob. So let's get started. Alright, so to make a monkey fist key fob you only need a couple things. Uh, one is paracord obviously a pair of scissors and a lighter and that'll be all you need now w the way I make these might be a little different or very similar to the way you've seen them made before but basically I start off with I start off with too much cord I start off with a good three and a half to four feet uh, four foot piece of cord which I'll go ahead and cut that now there will be some extra left over which is no big deal all right but I got my cord cut now now let's uh, move this stuff out of the way and I'll show you how to make it. all right so I got my tools right here and my cord cut to length now the first thing you want to do is take one end of it and double it over like so then you just want to take and tie you might have to pull a little extra take and tie that in a regular knot and the end of your knot you want it to kind of form a ball right at the end you can see that and it'll just look like a little ball that's your first step then you can take and cut that little tag end off just like so don't need it you could melt this if you want to but it, it's really not necessary but it's better to be safe and there you go alright now to start weaving it you're going to need your hand that's what I use as a jig is my hand so what I do is I take I take that ball and place it between my fingers just like so you see there's a the gap there you'll need the gap all right, once you have your ball in place, what you want to do is take your cord, and it doesn't matter which way you go, but wrap it around your fingers where that ball is three times. You have three strands. Then when you come back over to your palm side for that third loop, you want to take it in between your two fingers like that. Take it around the outside and come back through and come back through that space. Then you want to do that not once, not twice, but again three times. And then the the point where your line is going to go over and make it into four rows, that's where you want to stop. Now we got you can see what we got here it's like three lines going each direction so now what I like to do is take my top finger out and your line will be hanging right there by that loop alright then after you remove your finger take that loose end right there where it stops before it turns into four rows take it and pass it through that loop and keep it on the inside edge so your line is basically wrapping around the loop of these three. Then you want to remove your bottom finger. So you got it just like that now. Your line is coming at the back. Then take it in that loop. And you're going to want, want it to look like that. Then you're going to want that line will be on the bottom here. Then you want to do that so you have three loops in each of those as well. It's kind of hard to show you. Hopefully this tutorial helps. But then you want you want three strands just like on all the rest of them. One, two, three. See? One, two, three. Then on your last side, you will only have two strands. And that's normal. So you'll have that piece coming out and then the two strands. 
Now you're done weaving it up. Now's the tricky part is you want to find the start of that knot, that ball that was tied in a knot, you want to find that loop and start from there and just slowly pull the cord tight from going from that knot you originally started all the way out until the extra comes up in this uh, cord hanging off. So just keep doing that. Sometimes it'll be a pain in the butt, which is perfectly normal. And you end up going the wrong way like I just did. So it's very important to keep going the same direction because it can get very easy. And you want to keep your strands in line. You want the first one to be where the first one goes, the second one to be this, where the second one goes, and the third one to be where the third one goes. And you just keep pulling those tight. Then you'll get to this loop where it switches directions. And you want to see which line it hooks to and then just pull that one tight. Now you don't want to get it too tight right here. I like to go back and do this twice so I think it just looks better. So you just switch your directions there and keep following that string. Which will keep, which I'll do this now, we'll speed it up so you don't have to sit here and watch me do the same thing over and over again. Then when you get to the last loop, you'll be able to pull that through. And you can really see the monkey fist coming together now. Now this is where I like to go back one more time, find the original knot, and pull everything just a little bit tighter because I really think it looks better. And I'll go ahead and do that now, and I'll catch back with you in a second. All right, welcome back now. We have the ball completely uh, woven together. The ball part is finished. Now to make the little handle that you attach to your keychain or whatever. Um, I like to leave this section a little bigger than probably most people do. Um, and I'll show you why later. But uh, first thing that I do is I figure out my length. Then I'll double the cord up. Then I'll go back up one more time. So there's, there's triple cord there. Then what I start to do here, then what I'll do here is I'll take it, take the loose end, and just start wrapping it around so it's kind of like a noose. You can see that if my camera would, my camera would agree with me a little bit better and focus on the point I wanted to focus at, It'd be a lot more helpful. All right, there we go. It's starting to look like a noose. Now you can wrap it around there four or five times, however many you want. Then once you have it wrapped where you think you want it, there'll be this loop end. You take your excess cord through that loop, and then one of these at the top where you started, you pull it tight, and there you go, you got your knot. And it's like a noose, it can slide up and down. Very simple, easy to make. Then you just want to pull it as tight as you want. Come back down to the bottom of that noose spot. And cut that cord off, just like so. Then take your lighter. You definitely want to melt this part so it doesn't unravel. Get it heated up. Use the blue, blue part of the flame so it melts rather than burns. You can see it turning kind of clear, but if it was the yellow part, it would be turning black. And once that's warm enough, then you can take your lighter and just smooth it out. And you're good to go. But yeah, there you go. That's how you make a monkey fist keychain key fob that is completely adjustable.
This handle is a little longer than I usually make them, but for video purposes, it will work. Hopefully this was uh, instructional, instructional enough for you guys to get some information out of it and know how to make one of these yourself. But now I'll show you my favorite use for this. All right, one of my favorite uses for the monkey fist and why I make it so long for is so they can slide through your zippers to make it a lot easier to get into your bag. Especially if you have smaller zippers, this can be a real problem. If I just pull the noose part down all the way, take the ball end, slide it through, and now you have an excellent zipper pull. And you see I usually put something, I have a whistle on this one. Works good. But yeah, that is my favorite use for the monkey fist keychain. Um, it's You can see it easy. It's a good contrast to the colors of my bag. And it just works really good. But yeah, so hopefully you guys learned something from this video. You can learn how to make your monkey fist. Uh, it would be cool if you could post your pictures on my Facebook page uh, of yours that you made. Um, don't worry, don't get discouraged if you have trouble making it the first few times. I mean, it's uh, not everybody is just automatically good at things. Mm -hmm. And that's why you should definitely um, do try to learn things and fail at them because it will help you learn better. But that's it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And remember, be ready.